All right, the little red light says I'm live. Today's going to be a tutorial on how I market land for sale on Facebook. And then all these posts, all these things that we do, you could sort of do the same thing. You could definitely use the same post on other social media platforms too. So if you want to know how to market land for sale on Facebook, you clicked on the right video. And if you, uh, if you uh, feel like I need to call it Meta, just know that Facebook is the same thing as Meta on today's video. Just, just so you know that. So let's go ahead and share the screen. So this particular piece of land that I'll be marketing today is located in a town called New Walla, a town called New Walla, Oklahoma. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to where it says groups. Let me zoom in on this so it looks a little bigger for everybody. Okay. Uh, over here where it says groups, I'm going to go to groups. I'm going to click on that. And then in the search groups tab, I'm going to type the word New Walla. And then New Walla, Oklahoma pops up. That's where this particular land is located. I click on it and it it's on all, but I'm going to click groups. So I'm going to look for groups that would allow a real estate agent to market their listings for sale in it because some groups are like, it better be garage sale stuff only or something like that. You know, you've got some of these groups that are pretty, uh, pretty hardcore, but um, this one looks uh, advertising. If you're a member, please advertise once a month. If you have a business, once a month is every 31 calendar days. So this is Oklahoma City. New Wall is pretty close to Plymouth City. So I'm going to request to join that and we'll just see what happens. But try to try to join five different groups. Oh, wow. It's autumn. It's uh, popping up. Group rules. Be kind, courteous, no hate speech, no more than one business post per week. Respect everyone's privacy. No selling broken items. No selling weapons. Okay. Sounds good. I'll agree to that. Submit. And YouTube, uh, uh, Facebook, all you platforms out there that are watching this video, no no private information is being shared at all. No private information being shared. This is all public information. Here is a Nuala McLeod Choctaw Community Bulletin. I'm not going to try to request the Community Bulletin. I'm not going to try to do that. Neighborhood Watch. I'm not going to try to promote land for sale in a neighborhood watch um, community bulletin. I don't know. It just doesn't sound like something that would allow a land post. You could give it a shot. You could absolutely give it a shot, but I'm not going to try to do that. Children resale group. That sounds creepy. That sounds creepy. I'm sure it's just kids toys and uh, used clothes and stuff like that, but that definitely sounds creepy. Midwest city, Oklahoma city, buy and sell it all. That sounds like a, like a real tour, real estate agent friendly style group. Let's find out. Sell anything around your house may have in the city in it, surrounding cities. It's not for everyday talking posts. Buy and sell anything around your house you may have. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with it because I've only joined two so far. So I'm gonna there's another request to join that one. Let's see if this pops up. The group rules. Okay, it's not popping up. Oklahoma small businesses promote sell and trade. That sounds like a realtor friendly thing. Let's uh let's join that one. That's four. I keep count on my fingers like out like in elementary school. Homes for sale. I'm doing posts specifically about land today. So um New Walla, Northwest Oklahoma City. Nope, that's not where New Walla is located. Um New Oklahoma Day Trips. Nope. Oklahoma City Fun. Nope. 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 Okay. Now I'm going to, I know there's some towns next to Nuala. So let's look at Choctaw. So when you run out of, um, when you run out of group specific for where the property is located, if you're in a major metropolitan, you're not going to have that problem. But if you're in rural Oklahoma, like me, you might have that problem. So I need one more group that is open Everyone, opportunity to buy, sell, or trade with other members. Feel free to post things you'd like to sell or trade. Have fun. I'm going to join this one. It sounds friendly, but it may not be. It sounds friendly, but it may not be. How many donuts are in a baker's dozen? That's a cool question. What is the state bird? Scissor tail. Which town is furthest east? Uh, Hera McLeod. Haha, <laughs> they spelt McLeod wrong. McLeod doesn't have two C's. That's funny. Um, oh, well. Uh, 
I spell lots of things wrong all the time. I'm not making fun of them. I'm just enjoying the fact that there's other people like me who don't know how to spell. So join five groups. That's the first step. Wherever you're going to, even if you've joined five groups in the past, join five more. It never hurts to be a member of a bunch of groups, and you're going to see why. So now that we've done that, you got to be in your personal profile, your personal profile, okay? You can't do this in a business profile any longer. At least I can't. At least I can't. And then go over here to the marketplace. So click on marketplace right there. And then click on create a new listing. Create a new listing. So let me grab the address of this land real quick. I'm just looking at my uh, MLS to grab the address of the land real quick. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, let's do this one. So right here, there's no land button, right? Like that's, that's a big question I always get. Josh, there's no land button. What do you mean you sell land on Facebook marketplace? I, I click homes for sale. That's what I do. So I go over here and I click homes for sale. And then this will pop up. And then you want to add photos. So let me go over to the photo spot real quick. You search in your MLS database for photos. So right now here it's in downloads. I need to switch that over to my Google Drive account. And I'm going to jump into my real estate folder. Right here's my real estate folder. And then I go to, I've got mine organized A through H, I through P, Q through Z, and then streets. So I go to this property's address. I'm just checking out which one it is. There we go. Picks. And then I'm going to give them all the picks. Like I'm, I'm just going to give it all to them because why not? Right? So once those start to load up, you've got pictures of your land. And yes, it says new home listing up here. It does. But I'm going to show you what I do, what I do. And then you can figure out if it's something you're comfortable with too. So I'm going to put for sale. And then I'm going to click house. And then I'm going to put zero bedrooms. And if I try to do zero bathrooms, it always says no. So I have to do one bathroom. And then I put the price. This is a uh, lot listing. So it's 1.78 acres for $53,400. And then it wants the property address. So plug the property address in there. This is all public information. Uh, YouTube, this is all public information. Google, this is all public information. Um, New Walla, Oklahoma. This is all public information. So I don't want I don't want the um, the YouTube to kick me off. See, choose one of the addresses suggested in the drop down. Well, that's unfortunate because it's not showing up because it's a lot listing. It's not showing up. Let's see if I could just pick Nuala, Oklahoma. Hera, Nuala, Norman, Nuala. I'm going to pick that one right there. Okay, perfect. That gets me kind of close to it, but I'll be able to direct customers back to my KV Core website, and you'll see that as we go through the video more. But um, it's a land listing, so it doesn't have an address. So I just picked... Nuwala. I let Facebook pop up something generic for me and I picked Nuwala. That's what I picked. Does that make sense? Okay. Thumbs up. Thumbs up if you've got questions on that. And then property description. This is where I'm really straightforward. Pre buyers must have a pre approval letter for all showings. So I'm very straightforward in that. Okay. And then I put a little emoji in there, try to find something that says land, like I'll pick a tractor or something, something that says land right there. <clears throat> uh, build your dream home on this vacant lot. 1.78 acres more or less in New Walla, Oklahoma. And then I want to put another neat little emoji. I want to do another neat little emoji right here. Let me get the emojis to pop up. They do not seem to be popping up for me. Okay. So I'll just uh, I'll just leave that like it is. Neighborhood restrictions apply. 
request CCRs. And then I want to, uh, because it's a vacant lot listing only, vacant lot only, because we because we have to categorize, categorize it as a house, you want to be sure to make that very prominent right there. Command copy, go down and paste that. So I put buyers must have pre-approval letter for all showings twice on there because I don't want looky-loo buyers. I want serious buyers. Um, and then I have to put my name, which is public information. It's not private information. EXP Realty right there. And I don't, I don't put a link to the property in the write-up. I don't put my phone number to the property in the write-up because Facebook blurs that out. And some groups don't allow links anyways. So then I copy that, I copy it, and then uh, square feet, I'm going to leave blank because it's an acreage. Like I can multiply 1.78 times 43560 and come up with the square feet, but it's a house listing. It's asking for house square feet. It's not asking for land square feet. So I'll put none, um, put off street parking, and then there's no heat and air, and I click next. And right here, see, this is why you want to go join those groups, guys. Now, even if you're not allowed access to those groups right away, next time you post it, because you you might post it again in two, three weeks if it hasn't sold already. So you want to connect it to these different uh, groups, to these different groups. So that's why you went and joined those other groups. So some of them, theoretically, they should allow you to post real estate ads. If they don't, then you might get kicked out of it, but that's okay. Cause you don't want to be in groups that they don't allow you to, uh, to post anyways. So we're just going to go through here. I love the no limit, uh, groups, the no limit groups. I, I never feel like my post is going to get taken down. I definitely love those if I could see those. Um, but yeah, I just go through here and I pick the groups that I'm a member of that are close to the property because people are always on these groups looking, um, Man, I'm not in New is not too close to Tecumseh. It's it's almost close enough to accept it, but it's not. So I'm not going to do New Walla or Tecumseh because I got another house that I got to post to Tecumseh later today. So just scrolling on down. I'm looking for New Walla and close to New Walla groups that uh, that I can share this post in. And Facebook makes it real easy to share this, as you guys can see. If you got questions. Put them down in the comments below. I want to get your questions answered. If you have questions, put them down in the comments below. And then, of course, if you uh, want to do a Zoom call or something and work on yours specifically, there's a link down in the description to book a Zoom call so we can work on yours specifically. Do some one-on-one. -on -one. Here's some suggested groups for me to post in, which is very nice. Um, Bethel Acres is sort of close to it. I'm going to request to join that group because... There's another, you must answer or no entry. What town do you live in? Oh, whoops. There was more than one question. Always make sure to fill out all the questions. There was more than one question. That's funny. Um, all right, that's good. So we'll publish now. Now that I've clicked all those groups, we'll publish. And then Facebook will start putting it out there. And right there. Okay, cool. So there it is. Right there. There it is. And then if you had previous postings of it, go in there and delete it. This is one I've got to renew that I'll renew after this video. Um, and then, uh, but yeah, there it is. Right there. And I believe, too, you could see where all it's posted over here on the left bar now. Okay, it, it's not showing me where it's all posted. It used to show me there's somewhere where you could click on here and see where it's all posted, which groups have allowed it to be posted in. Um, but we'll figure that out later. So that's the first thing I do. I'll put the listing in the Facebook marketplace. Okay, does that make sense? Any questions on that? Now, here's something that you want to do, too, to get some more, uh, is you want to sign into your EXP Realty Marketing Center. Sign into your EXP Realty Marketing Center. So you got to sign in with your passport. And you know what? Um, we're going to 
cut this video short and I'll do this Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll do this Tuesday or Wednesday because I want to make sure I've got it all succinct for you. So you're not just sitting here watching me hunt and peck around a bunch, but I want to run through it once or twice real quick before I shoot the video on it. If you enjoyed today's video on the how to post your vacant land to Facebook marketplace, guys, give it a thumbs up, share it with any of your friends who sell land so that they can post their land on Facebook marketplace too. That's how I do it. You guys do what you want that you feel comfortable with, but that is how I get vacant land on Facebook marketplace. If you're part of the 30% of agents who may be looking to expand your business or you're not feeling that what you're paying at your current brokerage is getting you the value you deserve, book a call with me. My link is down in the description below. I'd love to chat with you about how EXP Realty is obsessed with agent success and how Glenn Sanford has built the fastest growing real estate brokerage ever that's international in over 22 different countries. All right, guys, this video popping up right there. Oh, right, right there. This video popping up right there is one that YouTube thinks you might want to watch too. So if you're not going to book a call with me, check out that next video and it might help your business get to that next level. See you guys on the next one.